Good morning, my friends. Happy Sunday to you all. This is July 14th, and we are here to uh, challenge ourselves this year to saving more from going into the landfill. Thanks, everybody, for coming back. Really appreciate it. And how are you all this morning? I hope everyone's well. Um, I just wanted to go over the, the rules of the game here. Uh, I'm trying to recycle 2,000 pounds from going uh, out in the garbage, excuse me, uh, or down in the uh, garbage disposal. Um, everyone seems to have a garbage disposal these days, and it's just easier to you know, throw your coffee grounds down there and throw your uh, coffee filter in the trash, uh, take your uh, fruit and vegetable peels and throw them down the disposal. Well, we're trying to save ourselves from doing that by uh, taking it all and either uh, using it fresh, which is a great idea. You can dehydrate your fruit and vegetable peels and, and put those out in your soil. You can put them out. If, if you put things out fresh and you don't bury it enough, tendency is uh, a nice raccoon or an armadillo or something is going to come along and go, oh gee, uh, that's, that's good. I like that. I'm going to dig that up because I've when I used to put out um, uh, banana peels, I used to find them the next morning and I knew the raccoon had, had dug everything up and he was digging up my plants and what have you. So I dehydrate things and then put it through the, uh, the neutral bullet, which pulverizes it and puts it into a fine powder. Uh, your coffee, your eggshells, uh, your shrimp shells, any of that sort of thing. Uh, if I could just... Uh, read this list to you very quickly. Uh, it's uh, fresh fruit and vegetable peels, eggshells, shrimp shells, coffee grounds, uh, leaves, if you want to save your leaves, either either green or brown. Uh, moringa leaves, we grow moringa, so we do, uh, we do recycle a lot. Excuse me, not, not quite awake yet this morning. Uh, any flowers, I used to throw them in the, uh, in the, it, it, I used to throw them either over the fence or I would put them out for the trash. Um, paper towel and, paper, and toilet paper rolls, boy, that's a, that's a great one. Everybody has that. Uh, cardboard, uh, shredded paper, whole paper, uh, your grass clippings, that is of the 2,000 pounds. Uh, I know over 1,000 is grass clippings. Vacuum cleaner, uh, dryer lint, uh, any stale cereals, crackers, cork, popsicle sticks, all that sort of thing. Excuse me, let me just take a drink. It's, oh my goodness, it's six o'clock, but I've been up since three, so I've, we, we pump early in this house. I'm having a cup of my everyday dose. This is a mushroom coffee. Uh, you've heard me speak of it before. Uh, there's there's a coffee extract in it, but it's really low in caffeine. Um, I think there's like 50 milligrams of caffeine, which is pretty equivalent to um, tea. I think tea is even more, but hang on. Okay, so I went over that. Uh, we started saving our, uh, our cans, uh, the, the wrappers on our, our metal cans that we have, you know, corn, peas, chili, beans, whatever for dinner. Uh, I take those uh, wrappers off. It works two ways. One, I'm getting the benefit of the paper going back into my soil or going back into the uh, worms. And the, comp the uh, recycling center gets a clean can. Not only do I rinse it out, but now it doesn't have that paper on it. Uh, if you have seed packets and you're throwing those away, don't. They could also be added to your worms or whatever. Uh, it's just, uh, if you do take off your uh, tags from your fruits and vegetables because uh, the worms don't break it down, it doesn't break down in the compost, 
I don't know what these things are made out of, but yeah, they're pretty strong. Uh, we save our uh, tissues. Uh, we save our, uh, we recycle those. Uh, the worms are not bothered at all by a little uh, snot on them. Um, I don't think they're bothered by even makeup on it because it goes on us. You know, think about that. Uh, tissue paper goes through very quickly. Any boxes, you can use the box and break it down that way. Uh, I use them a lot of times. I, I put it down around my plants, uh, the cardboard, and then I put uh, grass clippings on top and it keeps the, um, keeps the weeds from uh, from coming back. It, it suppresses them because it, it has no light and uh, the moisture kind of eventually gets to it, but you know, not as well. I'm so sorry, I don't know why I'm yawning so much, but I slept well. Uh, we had a good week. I, I was real pleased, we had a good week. And uh, uh, Brian came down and he brought us, our neighbor at the corner, he brought us his, uh, we trimmed our shrubs, uh, we did all sorts of things, <laughs> you know, and, and so it was a good week. And I got 57 pounds, 9.5 ounces. Um, which added to our 905 pounds, 10.7 ounces. It brought it up to our total is 963 pounds, 4.2 ounces. Uh, we're almost halfway there, a little over half of the year is over. We have 28 weeks in uh, and we're almost to the halfway mark for, for it. But hopefully this will be our, our heavy duty um, week that we get a lot done. Um, I wanted to talk to you just uh, about something that happened last night and that that was um, uh, President Trump, uh, if you're in the U.S. you know, probably know, already know this, but President Trump was um, shot by um, a young sniper uh, at a rally and um, it was a Republican rally, of course anybody's welcome to go, but mainly it's Republicans who go. Uh, unfortunately, it was um, a young man who said he hated Republicans and that, you know, he was going to take some out. And uh, uh, violence is just not the way. Uh, I'm, I'm not anti-guns, but I certainly am anti-violence and I'm anti-shooting uh, anyone. And uh, he's fine. Physically, he's fine. Let's hope that emotionally he can carry on with his job. Uh, many people have something happen to them in their in their young life and it destroys them for life. Uh, I'm sure we can all go back and, and think of something that we think, wow, that could, that could have really put me, that could have really put me down. Not many people have a perfect childhood and a perfect adolescence and a perfect life. Uh, some of us have had things happen that we think, wow, that, I, I wish that hadn't happened. And, uh, but uh, through strength, whether it's uh, your mental strength or whether you have a um, uh, good religious strength, uh, family strength, whatever, uh, get over it and they grow. And, uh, it, it, it we're all in layers, you know, it, it layers you. But anyway, uh, I hope you will take a moment and pray for this man, uh, uh, President, former President Trump. And uh, whether you vote for him or not, whether you believe in him or not, uh, he didn't deserve to be shot. And there were uh, a man, somebody behind him who uh, took, the, took another bullet and then there were a couple other people who were injured um, and pray for them and also pray for the young man uh, who did the shooting uh, there were secret service uh, there and they shot him and he was killed and so uh, let's pray for his soul because uh, uh, he couldn't have been in his right mind. At least I, I'd like to think that. So anyway, that's all. I, uh, one other thing I wanted to show you. Um, I was out walking and I picked up this incredible specimen 
of a mushroom. Now, I love mushrooms, raw or cooked. However, I would not even consider eating this. Uh, I will chop it up and give it to the worms. Um, it's starting to, uh, uh, this is two days ago, it's starting to dry up and it's starting to uh, kind of take in the gills. It was just, I mean, you, you looked at it and you went, wow, this is, a photographer would just love this. The whole bottom of it was roots and had the um, uh, uh, pine chips attached to it. So um, anyway, I just had to show this to you. It, it started out, um, it was something like 3.2 ounces and the next day it was like 2.7 ounces and I'm sure it's, it, it's starting to feel pretty light at this point, so it's dehydrating. But I just I just thought that was cool. I had to share it with you. And um, and I think that's it. I, I have gone over everything with you and I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful day. Uh, our summer is get, it's very hot. Um, the main thing here is stay hydrated. And uh, we're in Central Florida, for those of you who, who don't know me. And um, uh, I'm 74. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, today is is a July 14th and my birthday will be in nine months. So <laughs> I kind of look at those things. And uh, uh, I think the weather is has been a, a hotter Florida. I won't I won't say that it's global warming, but I will say that it's um, uh, climate change, which our climate has been changing for the last how many you know billion years the Earth has been around. It, we fluctuate back and forth, and so I don't get too excited about these things. And when I hear people say, "Oh, we all have to we all have to go to this side, and we all have to do." I think, you know, there's gradual things you can do, like recycling and reusing what you have. You knew I was gonna bring it around to that, didn't you? Anyway, uh, if you recycle what you have and it's not going into landfills and you're responsible about the way you use things, my personal opinion is that we will be in a better, better position uh, when we when we're needed so anyway uh, happy sunday uh, happy uh, 14th of july uh if you are uh over in france uh, happy bastille day however you celebrate we celebrated fourth of july uh oh, 10 days ago so uh we're real proud of being americans as i'm sure the french are very proud of being french so take care everybody i hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful safe day. And remember, garden what you've got. Take care. Bye-bye.